In this video, I will explain what default channel grouping in Google Analytics 4 is and how does it work. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GE4, then consider subscribing to this channel. Google Analytics 4, just like the previous versions, can group different traffic sources into groups, called channel groupings. They help you see a general overview of which channels drive the most traffic and conversions for your business. Let's take a look. When you go to your Google Analytics 4 property and go to acquisition and for example, user acquisition or traffic acquisition, you will see that one of the main dimensions used in the interface is called default channel grouping. For example, in user acquisition, we have first user default channel grouping and in traffic acquisition, we have session default channel grouping. In Google Analytics, channel grouping is basically a way to group your traffic sources into more readable definitions. For example, instead of seeing some technical values like CPC for medium or maybe PDF or something like that, you will see things like organic search, paid search, display, which means advertising with banners, then referral, organic video, organic social, organic shopping, and so on. Now, if you are wondering how these values are generated right here, they are following a certain set of rules. Below this video, you will find a link to a documentation about default channel grouping. And here you can find the rules when a particular traffic source is added to, let's say, audio channel grouping, or maybe to paid video or somewhere else. So in that documentation, you will find a table with the channel and then the rule when that particular traffic source is added to that channel. First, we start with some Google Ads traffic, then Google Ads from Display and Video 360, then we have Search Ads 360, and then for most users of Google Analytics 4 who are using free GA, then they will need to look at channels of manual traffic. Manual traffic basically is non-Google Ads traffic, non-Display 360, non-Search 360, and basically everything else. So for example, if a visitor lands on your website and source exactly matches direct and medium is either none or not set, then that is direct channel. Then here we can take a look at organic search. So if source matches a list of search sites or medium is organic, then that session will be added to the organic search channel. I will soon explain what is a list of search sites or list of video sites. Also, there is a channel which is called organic social. So if source matches a particular list of social sites or medium is social, social network, and so on, then that particular traffic source will be included in our organic search. So what I would highly recommend is that after you watch this video, analyze this table, especially the part of channels for manual traffic. This will help you understand what is paid search, paid social, display, organic social, and other channel groupings. So now let's take a look at the list of sites that Google Analytics 4 recognizes and links those particular sites to things like organic shopping or organic social or something else. So below this table, you will find analytics list of sources and categories. If you click this link, it will download an Excel file. And if you open it, you will see a list of all sources. So it means the source dimension or UTM source. So if a particular source is tracked by Google Analytics, you can open this list and then check if that particular source is added to a particular channel grouping. For example, here we see that Alibaba.com is added to shopping. So if we go back to that table and keep looking for shopping sites, we will know that Alibaba.com will be included in the paid shopping. If you check the file for Yelp, that will be included in the list of social sites. Then Twitch will be included in the video site list and so on. So you don't have to memorize all of this. After all, right now there are more than 800 items right here. But basically, if you are not sure about a particular domain and you want to know if that is recognized automatically by GE4 as shopping or social or video site or search, then you can just download this Excel file, open the list, and then check if that domain is included in the list. If not, then that traffic source will be added to the referral channel grouping, which is right here. But if it is recognized, then it might be added to organic search or organic video or organic social or organic shopping. 
but always if you want to be 100% sure, refer to this documentation. You don't have to remember everything. What is more important is that you know or that you will know where to find that information quickly. And if you have some traffic source that does not match any of these conditions right here, that will be displayed as unassigned. For example, here, I will see that there are some sessions that are unassigned to any channel grouping. So you can look at this kind of report as a 10,000 feet view of your marketing and your website performance or whatever you're analyzing. Because instead of having, you know, maybe 20, 30 rows right here, you have a much smaller number. And then you can find out in a more readable way where are your users coming from? Where are you getting sessions? How much revenue does each channel grouping generate? And so on. And that is how default channel grouping works in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.